Carmen Machia is a contemporary take on Bizet's classic opera inspired in part by the paintings of Pablo Picasso. Joining us now with all the details is choreographer Gustavo Ramirez Sanso and dancer Laura Mendez. Thank you both for coming in. Nice. And actually, Gustavo, this is a welcome home for you. You first choreographed this piece back in what, 2012? 2012. I used to live here. I was the director of this company called Luna Negra Dance Theater. And that's where we premiere this piece. Oh, wow. How Wonderful. does it feel to be seeing it reimagined again or just real, just awakened? It's a wreck in contra with the city of Chicago. This piece was created for, uh, for Luna Negra. That was a company of Chicago. And like it's, uh, I think it's really nice that it's back to the place that was uh, where I was birthed. Yes. How yes. did you recreate this piece? And talk a little bit about it because it, it, it fuses kind of like flamenco and pasta doble and contemporary too. I mean, that's who am I, you know, like uh, as a dancer, I also started with flamenco dance. I passed to ballet and then I went to more contemporary. So like uh, it's... Uh, any choreography is your own cocktail of experiences. All right, Laura, you are the lead in this. Yes. Uh, what, what are your thoughts and feelings about performing this piece that has gotten such rave reviews? I mean, Carmen is uh, a dream come true, I think. I say it all the time. It's one of the best things that happened to me. I just relate so much to her. She, Carmen is very young, and she follows her heart more than her thoughts. And um, she doesn't really, she just wants to be free. Her actions are mostly um, out of love and out of fun and out of freedom than anything else. And I think I relate a lot to that. And okay. she just, she wants what she wants, and she won't change it. And I yeah. like that. I, I like, like that mindset. <laughs> Wow, I like to be that. so brave. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Talk a little bit about these performances are at the MCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art. So talk about choreographing and then performing in that space. I think um, I've seen a lot of performance at MCA, and it's the perfect um, amount of seats, it's the perfect size. Um, it's not too big, not too small. I think Carmen is very detailed and very um, intricate. So for the public to see those connections and to see um, how the characters interact with each other is such as important as the big picture. So I think it's just fits perfectly. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, no big, huge sets. It's very simple, but so powerful. Yeah. And that was what you wanted. Yeah, I mean, like for me it was important, especially because I was here in Chicago, uh, to play also with the stereotypes. Like I think everybody has an expectation what to see when you go and see Carmen. Red and like a lot of like uh, things on the skirt. So make, mm, and like yeah. for me it was important, one of the things most important was like to make it black and white. Oh, very. So like you could actually, it's like a canvas, a white canvas and like everything is explained by the dancers. All right, Gustavo and Laura, thank you for joining us. Actually, we're gonna see you in action in just a few minutes, <laughs> yes. Laura. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Visceral Dance Chicago's Carmen Maquia is at the Museum of Contemporary Art, June 28th through the 30th. Social media handles and website there.